Hello, I'm Philip with my thought for the day. We've all been making sacrifices in order to save lives and help the NHS. And that got me thinking about the word sacrifice, because it's a word that we hear a lot of in the Bible. Mostly, of course, it's an Old Testament activity, though it was still going on in the days of Jesus. And in the Old Testament, and I'm glossing over a whole lot of detail here that you can read in Leviticus if you really want to. But in general, in the Old Testament, the idea of a sacrifice was to put things right between the one offering the sacrifice and God. And this is where we get the word atonement or at one -ment. Offerings were made as an act of repentance in order to cancel out sin and put the one offering the sacrifice right with God, at one with God. And in the New Testament, that's about Jesus and the once and for all sacrifice that he made for you and me. Jesus gave his life so that we can be at one with God. He's sometimes referred to as the Lamb of God, the Lamb offered for our sins. And the New Testament tells us that through this sacrifice of Jesus, God's love and holiness were both fully satisfied, uh, both fully expressed and satisfied, so that we don't need to make any sacrifice for our sins. However, there are sacrifices that the New Testament asks us to make. In Hebrews 13, the writer asks us, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for such sacrifices, with such sacrifices, God is pleased. So a sacrifice of praise and sacrificing by doing good and sharing with others. Now sacrifice suggests the giving of something that is a cost to ourselves. So a sacrifice of praise is surely more than just praising God and enjoying it. That's not to say that we shouldn't enjoy it, but if our praise is to be sacrificial, then maybe it should go beyond what we enjoy. Maybe we're called to worship even when we don't feel like it. Only if you've ever woken up on a Sunday morning and thought, you know what, I really don't feel like going to church today. Well, maybe that's exactly the time that you need to offer praise to God. Then in Romans chapter 12, St Paul urges his readers to offer their bodies as a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. In other words, he asks us to give everything of ourselves and our lives to God and to go on giving our lives to God throughout our lives offering the whole of our lives for the whole of our lives. The Message Bible translates this request as take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. The idea of a living sacrifice, of course, is a contradiction in Old Testament terms because the whole point of an Old Testament sacrifice was that it was killed. Instead of killing an animal, we bring ourselves and the way we live our lives as an act of worship. And if we look further on in uh, chapter 12, Paul puts some detail on this and encourages us to contribute to contribute to the needs of others in a sacrifice of generosity. He even says we should be generous to our enemies. In verse 20 he says, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, we will heap burning coals on his head. That's a quote from Proverbs 25. And he continues, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. An appropriate message perhaps as we watch with horror the events in America surrounding the death of George Floyd. And along with generosity of course, love. Echoing that call in Hebrews that I mentioned at the beginning. Love 
must be sincere, Paul says in verse 9. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. The sacrifices we are all making at the moment are made in love. To protect others as well as ourselves. As the lockdown begins to ease, so let us find more ways to be generous with our love. We're also able to continue praising God at this time, even if we don't feel like it. Because God is doing wonderful things in the world and making the world a better place. Even as we are self-isolating and social distancing, God is at work. Even as people are protesting about racism in America, even as people are actually beginning to realise that black lives do matter because God is at work in their hearts, so we may offer our thanks and praise to the living, loving God. I'd like to just finish by repeating those verses from Hebrews. Hebrews 13, verses 15 and 16. Through, Je Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And do not forget to do good and to share with others. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Amen.